Okay, is the ACSM a stepping stone towards the CSPSM? Um, yes, it is. So the Scrum Alliance brought the ACSM about because it was seen that the step from the CSM course, that Certified Scrum Master course that you likely did a year or so ago, to the CSP, the Certified Scrum Professional, that was too big a step. Many people didn't know how to take it. They were stood on a stone and the next stepping stone was too far away. And you had to have a level of bravery and fearlessness to make the leap. And people didn't know whether they could make it. So they didn't leap. ACSM was brought in to stick between those stones as an extra step. Make things more achievable, more reachable. So you have to do the ACSM to get to the CSP. But is it part of that transition? Yes and no. Yes, you, you attend it. My ACSM and my CSP are built around very similar structures. We look at theory. In the ACSM, it's the history of Agile, where it comes from, what the frameworks are and what they're about. In the CSP, it's more about lean. Where does that come from? What are the tools that are interesting there? Okay. Both of them look at coaching and facilitation. Very different aspects of it, though. In the ACSM, it's about the foundational tools of a coach. How do you have those conversations? How do you structure them? How do you listen well? What are the types of questions that you ask? In the CSP, we're moving further on past the foundations into what are the assumptions that we're thinking about? What are the contracts we need to build around us to protect everybody in these conversations to do a great job? How do we professionalize our practice? Service to the team, how do we work with these teams? What are we doing to support them? ACSM is very much about understanding how teams form, how they come together, how they move through that path to performance. Whereas the CSP, it's about how do we form those teams? How do we set people up to succeed as a group that maybe have never worked together before? Product ownership, ACSM and CSP, we're dealing with how do we help product owners? Very similar topics, but again, with different slants. The CSP changes course by course based on the contingent that we have and what their interests are. The ACSM though, we often look at impact mapping. How do we help product owners understand that route from having a vision, having a goal, having a common purpose to having a tangible backlog? And finally, we have the beyond the team section, organizational change and scaling agile. We look at systems thinking in the ACSM. We look at more of the lean tools in the CSP, things like value stream mapping, because they're both excellent tools and value stream mapping fits better with the lean emphasis of this CSP. Organizational change, we're looking at topics that are relevant to where people are, be it the scaling side of things or models to understand how people think and respond to change. So, Yes, it is a step towards your CSP and no. And I mean no in that in and of itself, it's a valuable set of learning. It's a smorgasbord. It's a selection of tools and techniques that will help you move towards that CSP, give you things to think about, to play with, to act on, changes to make with your team and your organisation in the moment. Ideally for me, an ACSM is a class where you come, you share experiences, you learn, but ultimately you go back to work with concrete things that you can try with your teams and with your organisation. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions, that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.